from Britain Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is set up the newspaper name and uh, put in some uh, margins and shading. So here's the newspaper project. You can find it at um, my Google site, uh, Britain Computer Tech, uh, sites.google.com, sites. If you just look up Britain um, tutorials, it should be the first thing on Google. So anyway, we've gone through step one and two of the directions. So now we're on step three. We're going to add the newspaper name. And it's going to end up looking something like this. This will be the very top of your newspaper. And then we're going to add some borders. And then we'll shade it. So we're going to go through steps three, four, and five. And you can read those on your own as you're following along. So what we want to do uh, next is we want to go to our um, Microsoft Word. So we're going to put up Microsoft Word. Here it is. We've already got a margin set up, so it says we have to press enter a few times. And the reason you do this is you don't want to get your stuck inside of the margin. So we're just going to call our newspaper World Times. And we're going to do a few things to that. We're going to go to the Home tab. We're going to center it. Then we're going to highlight it. And we're going to change the font to something that looks a little better for us. Whatever we want. It doesn't really matter what font we choose, but um, let's pick something that looks a little bit better. Makes it look a little bit more like a, a newspaper. So we've got a few different things. I don't know. Maybe this will look kind of neat. I like to use the grow font button. We'll make it bigger. Not so it goes in two lines, but about like that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight world times. And we're going to go over here. Again, we're in the home tab. Go over to the paragraph section. Click in here, we're going to put in outside borders. That'll make a nice look like that. Now, what we can do, I'm going to go ahead and undo, press Control Z, is we can go here to the borders and shading. So if we go to um, here and go all the way to the bottom, we've got borders and shading tab. Now we can select a more custom border. So I like to choose this one. We can also give it a color. Uh, we can change the width, and let's see how it looks now. That looks a little bit better. I like that one better. Next thing we can do, we can shade it. This is an option. Um, you can also change your text slightly to maybe give it some different effects. A lot of people don't know this, but if you notice, this is font, this is paragraph, and there's a little downward arrow on the corner of it. If you press this downward arrow in the corner of the font, you can do some special effects, like giving it a shadow effect, uh, maybe outlining it and give it a little bit different look to it. So I don't know if I like the outline there, so I'll go back and take that off of there. I do like the shadow. I think that makes it look pretty good. So anyway, that's how you put the borders and in, in, in around it. So the next part is do the shading. Do that the same way. We can go down to borders and shading, go to the shading tab, and we can fill it with a color. Usually you want to keep it a light color uh, just so it uh, doesn't do too much. If you notice here that it went outside of the borders, so I'm going to undo Control Z. And the reason was I needed to highlight my my words. I just have my cursor on the line, so I'm going to highlight the words and go ahead and do that same thing again. Go to shading, put in a little uh, light shading, press OK, and now it's shaded inside only. So a lot of times you don't need to do that, but that's how you can do that part. So thanks for watching.